our wide bent barbell row is a great strength move for our upper back. The difference between this one and our normal barbell bent over row is simply our hand positioning. We're gonna take a nice wide grip on the bar for this exercise. This can also be done with dumbbells where you're flaring the elbows out and going wide. If you do not have access to a bar, you're welcome to switch over to those wide dumbbell rows and look up our how-to video for those. Otherwise, with the bar, we're gonna set up just like we would for a normal barbell row, standing nice and close to the bar, feet about hip distance apart. Instead of grabbing the bar right under those shoulders about shoulder width, we're gonna go outside of shoulder width here. So nice and wide on that bar. It's typically gonna be a little tougher doing our wide bench barbell rows compared to our normal ones. So you're gonna probably wanna go a little bit lighter in weight on these than you would for a normal barbell row. So grabbing nice and wide on that bar, Again, we're going to come all the way up, set the core, abs nice and tight, hinge on over to where that upper body is getting close to parallel with the floor, legs slightly bent, back straight. We're going to pull that bar right to the sternum, elbows are flaring out, squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, and then controlling the weight back on down. So, biggest mistakes I see made on this one, number one, not making sure that you have a wide grip and instead just doing a normal barbell row. So really make sure we are outside of shoulder width for this one, nice and wide. It should feel tougher than a normal barbell row. Number two, just like with a regular barbell row, biggest mistake I see made is involving the entire body, not just your back. So what that looks like is when we're doing that row, we're kind of swinging with the torso to get that weight on up or we're bending with the legs to kind of get that weight on up, and that's typically an indicator that you have too much weight on the bar for these. So drop down in weight, try to make sure that there's no movement going on besides those arms coming up and squeezing those shoulder blades and controlling it down. No movement in that lower body and no movement in the rest of the torso. Core staying tight, we're staying hinged on over throughout that entire movement.